Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katherine Young and I'm a creative. And we are heading to Cannon Falls, Minnesota. And I am picking up some auction wins. And while we're at it, let's go to the antique mall next door, shall we? This is the auction house. I will show you a haul of the items I picked up here. Um, at the end of this video with what I got at the antique store. I highly recommend them. They do ship. And I have found that there is really good deals to be had. I really like the stuff they offer. So I'm going to leave their link their information below so you can check them out and get some deals. So right next door, we just drive over and, and antiques, y'all antiques. <laughs> Uh, so it's all kind of in the same little industrial area and they are having a big anniversary sale coming up soon. So if you're in the area, I highly suggest you check it out and I will link their Facebook below. When you walk in, it is just so beautifully decorated. It has a real vibe, a real vibe. All the vendors do such a great job in their spots. This display right here on the end really caught my eye. I love the woodworking piece. I love that. That's a decent price on that, I feel. Love how they set that up. And I love how they framed the ephemera. I need to do a better job with framing my vintage ephemera. It's just that extra step that I don't take and I don't put the ephemera on display. And that's a really good reminder of how beautiful a piece of vintage ephemera can be in a frame. I also love that piece, even with the damage. I think it's amazing. I think the chiaroscuro light effect would be awesome in any gallery wall, damage and all. Beautiful layouts, glove molds down there. And ooh, look at this piece of art. Yes. Oh, I'm a sucker for art, y'all. How beautiful would that be on a gallery wall? Lovely. So when you walk into this booth uh, right in the front, it is really a vibe. You really feel like you're in a Victorian parlor. Everything is basically out of my budget level, but I like looking at all of it. <laughs> Really striking pieces. You're really making a statement. And honestly, I feel this is so kind of romantic and feminine. Oh, look, y'all. I see a glowy item, a glowy true antique. So this would be Victorian turn of the century. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, yeah, you can see it. So that is uranium, that custard glass piece. Ooh, and I love that Florentine box. Real beautiful vibe here. I like the mauve color tones. I think they're pretty. That is a stunning photo album. I don't think I've seen a relief like that before. Really stunning. And then let's open it up and see if there's any, no pictures in this one. So you're really just paying for that beautiful cover, which honestly, I think that price on the tag is fair. And then over in their display, they have some more glowy items. Yep, check out those candlesticks. Glowy, glowy, glowy. Ooh, that one really glows. <laughs> um, I also love this souvenir piece. I wonder if that glows. Nope. <laughs> I also really like these Victorian cups. If this one hadn't been $20, I might have picked it up for myself because I thought the shape and the colors on that were superb. Really striking and modern looking for something Victorian. I love this display case. It has a lot of like children's items, but then a lot of boudoir items and they look really good together. So you got the little kids shoes, tons of little kids shoes and the angel picture. But then you have these beautiful purses. I have one like that in my collection actually. And one very similar to that black velvet one. And these boudoir items and purses look really cute with all the children's shoes and the children's items. That's a real vibe. Love those gloves. They were children's, unfortunately, so I couldn't wear them. Love that piece. Oh, so striking. And look at this gorgeous piece of ephemera. Oh, I love that. So get ready for some eye candy, y'all. 
Yes, there's some Vaseline glass, got some Mr. Peanuts, really lovely pieces there. And look at that Halloween postcard. That's a good one. I do think it's priced a little high, but it is pretty darn cool. That's got great graphics. Love the cranberry glass, but y'all, get ready for it. Past the Victorian glass is pixie wear. <laughs> Look at all the pixie wear. Look at all the Holt Howard. There are designs in here that I haven't seen before. How great are these? So, you know, all of these are priced retail. They're all $100 near $200. You can see the price tags on them. The dealer has them clearly shown for people. So they're out of my price range. But, you know, it's really fun to see them, right? Um, so I really, I really enjoyed this display. Look at that joy in the case. And you know, they're having a discount weekend coming up. Maybe it's worth coming back for someone who really wants that pixie wear. Now this is stuff that I am really attracted to. I love Victorian boudoir stuff. I thought that was really neat. I've never seen a piece quite like that. And oh my gosh, I really want to find an elaborate photo album on a stand just like that. But this isn't the one for me. Someday I'll find the right one. An amazing light there, hanging light, all kinds of gorgeous pieces. Look at that jewelry box. That's wood instead of metal in that Art Nouveau style. Stunning, stunning. And right here, this whole setup, that is a display in your home. Just gorgeous. This collar box, the color is fantastic. I am a sucker for boxes. I don't know why I love them but thought that was a good price for how beautiful and vivid the color was and this. Y'all, I just loved that. I thought the price was great. I didn't ask to see it or have it opened up because quite frankly, I was afraid I'm gonna fall in love because <laughs> that's an amazing piece. You know, and when you walk further into the antique mall, you really see its breadth. It has something for everyone. You know, it has the pixie wear we just saw. It has the Victorian vibes. Um, everything feels warm and homey because of the, the wood flooring and the wood decor in this place. It has dolls, <laughs> glassware. Really, there is stuff here for every taste. And that's why I like this place. Ooh, so this. I have this. Um, I found mine at a thrift store and did not pay that. Um, but it's worth it because it's beautiful. Is that not just the most gorgeous thing? Now, I saw this the last time I was here. It is still chipped, but I still found myself looking at it. <laughs> um, I think that's a good price for a collector. I don't mind the chip. It's very minor on the lid. And of course, y'all, you know that that glows. Of course it does. That is a nice glowy item. I think that is a great price for a collector. So Love that piece. I'll probably look at it next time. <laughs> I love this display piece. Oh my goodness. Isn't that just stunning and beautiful? That milk glass globe. I think that's really neat. Great ambiance for the booth. And of course, it is not for sale. <laughs> Whenever something is that kind of ambiance, I totally get it though. Now this up here, I thought was very much worth the money they were asking. There is damage on this, and it's probably missing a lot of the dangly beads at the bottom. But how stunning would that be hanging on a wall, a gallery wall? I think that is a great price, and that would be an amazing item to pick up. This display is an example of the purses priced at retail and a ton of beautiful jewelry. I love beautiful jewelry and purses, so let's dig in. I swear I spent way more time on this case than we're going to show you. <laughs> now, I thought this stuff was right at retail, but there were some deals to be had, as you can see on the tags. I thought some of these prices were fantastic, but you can see how these purses, with all the fringe, um, much more complete, were much more than that one I showed earlier. So that one earlier was a great starter purse, great display piece. I highly recommend something at that price and for how beautiful it was. But oh my gosh, look at all these beautiful things. I just love that bangle in the back there. Ooh, that's that's a really pretty color. I really like that. But yeah, I love looking at jewelry. I love seeing things I haven't seen before like that. 
That shell necklace was really wild. I really thought that was a neat one. That's something I haven't seen. And that cameo. That cameo was really stunning. Really different. Ooh, and that Spanish hair piece. Ooh, that Spanish style comb, the really large one. Really super neat. So this vendor just had stuff displayed really nicely, really well curated. Love that drop necklace in the back. That is a good price on that. And uh, yeah, I thought I would just show you this eye candy. I stayed at this booth longer than you want to even know. So if you're thinking this is the longest time you've ever looked at jewelry, <laughs> you should have been with me in person. <laughs> Because, <laughs> oh, yeah, this is my jam. I love jewelry and I love purses. I have a display wall in my home. Oh, and see, look at that deal. If I didn't have something just like that pink piece, that is a great deal on that piece. That was a total score for that brooch. Love those purses back there. It was really drawn to that big one with the pink flowers. Love the whiting and Davis style and the beaded. This was a really fantastic, oh, look at that blue one. Oh, that blue one's just drawing me in. So really fantastic booth, really fun and curated, lots of eye candy. This booth would be worth coming back on the 20% off sale, Dave. Just, just saying that, yeah, that's, that's exceptional. <laughs> and then here is this gorgeous patriotic image. I love this so much. I thought it was Definitely priced um, retail price, but that's what you'd expect to pay for something like that. That's really, that's a really gorgeous image that they framed. Loved that spice cabinet. I thought that was really cute. I was all crammed. Definitely looked like my grandma's house. And I loved these pinups. Now, these were priced at retail. This is why I preach to buy scrapbooks. You can get a scrapbook for the price of all these images of beautiful women. So you could get a whole book full of them versus one page that is framed because one page that is framed is going to cost you 20 some bucks and a scrapbook is going to cost you the same amount. Hi, little buddy. <laughs> I just loved him. So I just had to show him. He's cute. And he's pure joy on the shelf. <laughs> okay, look at that blue postcard. That is Halloween postcard goals, y'all. And it is as expensive as it is. That is worth it. That is amazing. That is like the dream postcard. I can't believe I'm seeing it in real life and not on Pinterest. Like, wow, wow, wow. And these little creepers. <laughs> I thought they were cute. I didn't see a price on them. Also, I'm superstitious, so I don't understand why they're in a cased box like that that you can't open. But that's just me. Anyways, I thought they were kind of neat. But yeah, being in a box, that makes me superstitious. Um. <laughs> Whoa, look at this set. What? Oh, wait, does this glow? Does this? Oh, nope, it doesn't glow. Wow, this set is stunning. Oh my God, it is only $25 for the set. I don't want to ship that. Um, but I am very drawn to like kitchenware and look how old that is and how beautiful that is. That is a steal. That is a steal of a deal. Those are gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. I, I don't even know. Wow. That is beautiful. And I know I have people who like Scotty dogs. I thought this was really cute. It was definitely kind of looks like somebody's whole collection that was bought out. And the nice thing was there really was like price range from high to low. There were things you could get, you know, five, 10 bucks, then way, way more for some of the more rare items. I just, I thought it all looked really cute together, right? Okay. And this guy is a total weirdo. He was only $5 and he has major damage, but you know what? I picked him up because he's weird. I've never seen him before. And somebody's going to want the predecessor to strawberry shortcake. That's right. What a weird find. I love it. So this was cool. This shelf had a bunch of vintage Christmas. That's like a Holland mold, but somebody did a really great job. Another like Holland mold DIY piece. And the prices are really good on this. Ooh, that was cool, but that was really scraped up when I looked at it for that cheap price. Ooh, 
Wouldn't that make a killer Easter assemblage? Nice. That's another Holland mold piece, I think. And there's this iridescent tree. So I, I totally need to go look through this Christmas stuff. Um, really good prices on these things. There might be stuff worth grabbing. Ooh, even Raggedy Ann and Andy. So this booth has glowy stuff. So I thought we'd come check it out. I don't know a lot about Jadeite, probably because it's just out of my price range usually. So let's see, does this glow? No, it doesn't. Oh, but the custard glass piece does. That's nice and glowy. So if you come over to this exhibit, they have a bunch of the custard glass souvenir pieces from around turn of the century. That's all gonna glow. Now he has these really priced at retail, um, more than I like to pay for these pieces because sometimes people just wanna get rid of these and they price them pretty low. So um, these are definitely pieces that you can find cheap. You just gotta keep looking. You gotta find the vendor that doesn't like to carry them. So love the goblets. Those are just really neat. That is stuff I want in my collection. Loved this ephemera piece. Um, I did open the case and look at it. Once I saw it, it wasn't something that I wanted, but it was a really neat piece. And then this frog prince trinket box. Unfortunately, they forgot to put it in my order. I did buy that little weirdo and maybe someday I will be back for him. Saw this, love these, how beautiful are they? Thought the price was fantastic. It does have damage, but the damage is really minor. I looked it over and the damage really is just that mark in the hair there, but it does kind of crack down the piece. It's hard to see. So I left her there. Um, great find for a collector. Loved this. Oh my goodness. I love how the frame is. I love how the black is on there and her photo. Doesn't that just have like witchy vibes? I just... Oh my gosh, how great. I'm showing you my hand to, so you can see the size of it. Witchy, creepy vibes. And here comes the spooky. Oh my God, look at the Halloween, y'all. This is such a fun collection. Okay, so you can see by the price tags that all of this is really retail. This is high-end retail. This is like a collector who needs that one piece for his collection retail. So it's not for me, but I love looking at it. I just think it's so neat to see all these items. Some of these I've never seen before. That little bag in the back. Some of those weird little walking <laughs> jack-o'-lanterns I've never seen. Look at that girl in the back with the ghost suit and the pumpkin and the... Look at that. That is so neat. So, I mean, a lot of these things I just hadn't seen before. It's fun eye candy to see. It's not going to be something I can afford to buy for my personal collection. Love the costume and the box it comes in. Oh my God, that's ephemera bowls right there. Woof. Be dreaming about that later. And that box. Oh my God, that makes an entire display, doesn't it? Lovely, lovely, lovely. So this was fun to see, even though it's completely out of my price range. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all these because I mean... What a stunner. What a stunner. <laughs> and then actually I considered buying these. So these were only $15. You usually find them closer to $30 or $40. They're great for postcard displays. I didn't buy them, but I considered it because that was a good price for those drawers. Ah, look at it. It's the Halloween angel. I never find this one. Uh, this was priced really high. I remember being like, Ooh! Um, I can't see the tag. I missed it in the filming. Sorry, guys. Um, these are very popular, those bees. And I have never seen these cars. I've just never seen them before. They have Holt Howard vibes. I don't know if they actually are Holt Howard, but I've never seen those. I thought they were really neat. And then when you go over here, look at this bunny family. The babies are just so dang animated that I was like, these are cool. So even with the damage at that price, these might be for me because usually the babies aren't that animated in these family sets. And then the sign just, it just made me laugh. It's modern, but it pulled me in. And you know what kept me in? The Seder console bowl. I have never seen anything like that. Wow. Isn't that amazing, y'all? I love that.
just freaking love these images of women in cloaks and capes. Ugh, they just have the witchy kind of vibes. Mother Nature, the colors on this. Ugh, so fantastic. I need art like I need a hole in the head, but you know, ugh. And now look at this piece. This stairway is full of art and it is just a trap because I love it all. You don't often see that image. You see the one of him dreaming. So I really like that swinging one. That is really exceptional. And this, oh, be still my heart. It's a showgirl. It's art. It's signed. Oh, this, this is everything. This is everything I would want. But yeah, like I said, I need art like I need a hole in the head. So that is going to stay here. But oh, that is fantastic. And you know, even upstairs, like where this doesn't look like it would be a booth I would be interested in. You never know what's around every corner. There is one of those Denison books. I'm looking for every single Denison book. They made like a dozen different ones. So this is a great find for me. Who knew I would find it here? And I just thought this was neat. So I don't do a lot with like art glass, but I thought this huge fish was gorgeous. You can see how huge it is next to that lunchbox. Like this thing is ginormous. I don't actually know if it's Murano. It's marked Murano, but I don't actually know. And it has like a sticker and there's a whole situation happening. But I just wanted to show it because like that thing's got to weigh 10 pounds and it's really stunning. If this was not so big, this is like a 16 by 20. I would have bought it because it's really nicely done and I thought it was at a great price for resale. So really neat piece there wanted to show. And then over here I just wanted to show all these cute Disney planters and this vintage Disney. Isn't that adorable? I think those are cute. I haven't seen that many planters and pictures and Disney pottery all in one place, the vintage stuff. So I thought that was really neat. And then this was fascinating. So look, it's like the pattern for pyrography, but no one has burned it yet. Okay, do you get that? So like on the sides, there's all like, so that is where you would burn it to do a pyrography box, except nobody has done it yet. So that is like the kit to make your own pyrography box. Um, I didn't pick it up, but I just, I thought it was neat. I wanted to share. And then this, I thought I could do well on this. It has the spoon, which never happens. It's only $5 and there were no issues with this piece. So I thought that was a great find. And now y'all, let's get into the haul. So I got this at auction. It was only $5 for the lot and I bought it for the cool ephemera and packaging. I'm going to rescue that and do stuff with it. Um, it is just falling apart. I don't know what I'm going to do with these like tank top things inside, but look, look at that image. Oh, wow. That's one of the coolest images I have in my collection. So I am going to save that. I'm going to rescue it. Um, thought it was worth $5. Fantastic. And then this piece right here is actually why I watched the auction. I wanted it. I loved it. Um, I collect uh girl doll figurines, this size, this creepy lover, lover, lover. And then I picked up this lot at a really reasonable price. The one at the end is definitely like a home hobbyist piece. The one in the middle, I am for sure keeping. And then uh, squeaker alert, <laughs> that does work. So that is for resale. So the middle one I am keeping, but the two on the outside will be for sale. So if you're interested in them, just feel free to drop me a line, let me know. And these are the ephemera pieces I got for my personal collection. I showed this one right at the beginning. What this actually is, is a needle book. I just never seen one this old before. I've seen mid-century ones, so I picked that up. And then I did snag these Halloween, um, or holiday pieces, forgive me, um, love the tree, love the Easter egg. I think these are going to make really neat assemblage pieces. Yeah, they were great prices. And these are all the items you saw me grab on camera. I got that little weirdo. He was only $5. Um, did have some damage, but I think I can get a good profit on that because that is weird. The same thing, only $5. 
but in excellent condition and with the spoon. And then this family loved them. Great price for a resale. I'm probably going to hold on to it for a while and maybe make an assemblage out of them. Um, little chip on that little guy, but still great price on those. And um, yeah, I think I can craft with that. I think they're going to look really cool if I make something out of them. Like this. Like, oh my gosh, look at Ah, it just needs some Easter grass on like a bow. See? See, this, my my crazy plans come together, folks. So I'm going to work on those. <laughs> and then you did not see me pick these up on camera. This is a Royal Copley bank. It's a little teddy bear and it still has part of his roller, Royal Copley sticker. And this is actually a Hager planter. It does have a chip by the foot, but it is that Celadon glaze. And with spring coming up, I think someone's going to really like it. It does not say Hager on the bottom, but online I found one with a Hager sticker. Pretty solid that this is a Hager piece. So bought those. You didn't see them on camera. And here's a little mini haul. So I hope you enjoyed antiquing with me today, y'all. If you like thrifting, vintage, creative project, and more, this is the channel for you. Stay creative, y'all. And bye!